Hello and welcome to Tipping Points, the quiz where four players' fortunes lie on a knife edge. It's all about our extraordinary machine. She's loaded with counters, they're all worth money, and the player's job is simply to get out as many as they can over the crucial tipping point. Only one of them will survive to go head-to-head -head against the machine for a possible £10,000 jackpot. The others will leave with nothing. Let's meet the players all hoping to cash in today. I'm Laura, I'm a sales executive from St Albans. I'm Caspian, a competitive intelligence analyst from West Sussex. I'm Jo, a teaching assistant from Essex. I'm Chris, a driving instructor from Stevenage. Good luck to all of you. Let's play Tipping Points. In round one, you each have three counters, three chances to earn some money. Questions are on the buzzer. A correct answer will give you a choice, whether to play your own counter or ask one of your opponents to play instead. Every counter that comes out of the machine is worth £50. Whoever has the least amount of money at the end of this round will be going home. The timing is everything. Don't forget, if you give me a wrong answer, that counter will be taken from you and put into our penalty pot. All of those counters will be up for grabs at the end of the round on a single question. So everything can change. Good luck. Here comes your first question. In the 1942 Disney film, what animal is Bambi's friend Thumper? Chris. Rabbit. He is a rabbit. So, Chris, you get a choice. Would you like to play or would you like to pass to one of your opponents? I think this early on, I'm going to let one of my other opponents play and we'll go with Laura. Come on then, Laura. Do you think she's ready to pay out? I think so. I'm feeling lucky. Good. That's what we like to hear. Where are you going to start? I'm going to start, I think, with number two. Release your counter when you're ready. That look at that. Yes, I'm going to go with a yes. It's come flat, on. which is a good start. Over oh, the top. Yes. That could be very good come on, now. Come on, come on, come on, Chris, come on. was it a right come decision? On. Two counters <laughs> across the tipping point. You far away. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Hundred pounds from the machine. Brilliant. Can we put into your bank. It's a great start, Chris. Very generous of you. Ah, oh, well, you know. <laughs> Let's go to the next question. When expressed in figures. How many noughts are there in 1,000 million? Chris. Nine. There is, Chris. Well done. So you got another question right. Are you going to pass it on to one of your opponents? Or do you feel like she's a bit more ready now? Judging by last time, I think I'll play this time. OK, whereabouts, Chris? I'll go for number one. Drop zone one, please, for Chris. Chris, we need as much over the tipping point as possible when you're ready. It's a very fast drop and it slid out nicely. Anything over the edge? No! No, Chris! Oh! It's fallen. But that's not going to do any damage, unfortunately. So nothing over the tipping point. Next question. The US TV series Mad Men is set in which decade? Joe. The 50s. It's the 60s, 60s Joe! 60s. Oh. I'm afraid we have to take a counter off you. One of your precious counters goes into the penalty pots. You can try and win it back a little bit later on. Here comes your next question. How many rings feature on the Olympic flag? Champion. Five. That's right, well done. Yeah. So you can either put one of your counters in or ask one of your opponents to go instead. No, I better put one in. I'll go for uh, two. OK, release your counter when you're ready. Nice, fast, clean drop. Come on. Oh. There's a bit, it's, there's a gap. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that could be spot on to Come get to me. No, Come no, on, no, you no, no. Yes, you beauty. Oh. Two. Well done, Caspian. £100 from the machine into your bank. OK, here comes your next question. Which 1996 Tom Cruise film contains the line, show me the money? Laura. Jerry Maguire. That's right, Laura. So, you get a choice. Would you like to play again or would you like to put one of the others into the zone? I'm going to play. OK, whereabouts? I'm going to go for number one. Release your counter when you're ready. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That just on. about go paid on. off. Yeah, it's come on, come on, come on. Is anything going to go over? Oh, yeah. Oh, go on. Come on, come and on. Oh, oh, yes. oh. Oh, there's a lot. Eight. <laughs> across. There is a lot. Oh, you're right, Laura. I'm happy. Laura doesn't get out much, but that's all right. <laughs> Eight across the tipping point oh, is £400. That's gone into your bank, Laura. Well played indeed. £500. OK, here comes your next question. 
The Bestival Music Festival takes place on which island? Laura. The Isle of Wight. That's right, Laura. Well done. Now then, you could play your last counter or perhaps ask one of the others to play. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to play it. OK. What are you going to play? I'm going to go with number one. Has she got any more to give you? Hope with your so. last counter. Let's see if we can get you some more money when you're ready. They're going to be enough distance to get those counters across the edge, Laura. I hope so. No. Same I really do as hope last so. time. The weight might yeah. take them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on. Just over the edge. Two, three. Oh. oh, I missed one. Just the one. Another <laughs> 50 pounds, <laughs> which we put into your bank, apart from every counter. Well played. 550 pounds. Thank you. You've now used up all three of your counters, so for the time being, you're out of the running. So this next question is for Caspian, Joe, and Chris. Which comedian hosts the TV dating show Take Me Out? Joe. It's Paddy McGinnis. It is Joe. Well done. <laughs> Bang on. So, are you going to play or pass? I think I'll play. Where are you going to go? I'll go for four. When you're ready, fire away. Wow. Fast drop, sat cleanly, but. You need to be able to nudge that counter. Oh, Joe, no! That couldn't have been worse. So nothing over the tipping point. Here comes your next question. The ocelot and the lynx are members of which family? Chris? Cat. That's right, which family of animals? They are cats. So, are you going to play or are you going to pass? I'm going to play. OK, where would you like to play? Drop zone number three, please. Drop zone three. When you're ready, away you go. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that. So it's a on. clean settle. Yes! Wait some enough. Finally. And what about the tipping point? Oh. Hey! Three across the tipping point. Well done. Got into second place. £150, which you put straight into your bank. So, next question for Caspian, Joe, and Chris. Which English football club is nicknamed the Toffees? Chris? Everton. That's right, Chris. Well done. Now then, you could play your last counter or perhaps ask one of the others to play. Nah, number three's still looking good, so I'll play it again. When you're ready. That's Cheeky little ghost not drop. So bad. This is your last counter, so. so. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Go on. Could be good. We need to get at least one yeah. over. One, yeah. Yeah, the weight will take it. And what about bonk, the tipping bonk, points? Bonk, 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 come on. Yeah. Hey! Four. Well done, Chris, with your last counter. Another £200 across the tipping points, which means you now have £350. You've used all three of your counters, so for the time being, like Laura, you are out of the running. So, Caspian, Joe, this next question is for you. Which country won the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest? Joe. Kazakhstan. No, Joe, it wasn't Kazakhstan. Azerbaijan. It wasn't Azerbaijan. It was none of the Jans. Sweden. Oh, Joe. We have to take your final counter away from you. That goes into the penalty pot. You're going to get a chance to play for them in just a few moments. You will need to win them to stand a chance of going through to the next round. Caspian, just you left. So your next question, Caspian. Who was Britain's first Labour Prime Minister? Uh, Ramsay MacDonald. That's correct. Well done, Caspian. Yeah. Where would you like to go? I'll have drop zone four, please, Ben. It's not clean. No. It's on... It's too... No, I'm not... Gonna... Oh, yes. Is that where you wanted it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, push. Oh, oh, there oh, you go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Beauty... Yeah. Three across <laughs> the tipping points. <laughs> £150 from the machine into your bank. You now have £250. You have one counter left. So this question is yours. You still need to give me a correct answer before we put all the counters in the penalty pot up for grabs so everything can change. Your last question then, Caspian. Aeroflot is an airline of which country? I, uh, crikey. I'm thinking Russia, but I... I need an I've answer. Got, I've got to say Russia. You're going with Russia. Yeah. Is he right? No, I don't know. You're you are really right, it is yeah, Russia. Yeah. <laughs> well done. You've got your last counter to put into the machine. Where are you going to go? Let's go one, I think. Five counters. We'll see you ahead of Laura. Come on. Oh, 
come on. It's a, it's a huge gap. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster. No, oh, oh yeah. We like that. Come on, push, push. Come on. Oh! oh. oh. They aren't going to fall. Oh, so, well. Caspian, unfortunately, that one didn't quite pay off. But as it stands, Laura has £550. Chris has £350. Caspian has £250. Joe, you don't have anything, but it's not over just yet. We have two counters in the penalty pot. They're both up for grabs right now. Whoever gives me the correct answer to this question will put both of them into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, you'll be out of the running. Joe, this is your last chance. You need to give me the right answer to stand a chance of going through to the next round, OK? What colour are the stars on the US national flag? Chris? White. They are white. Well yes. done, Chris. Joe, I'm afraid that means you'll be going home. OK. Chris, you have two counters to put into the machine. Caspian's done his best to throw them over the tipping point and drop zone one. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. it those ones you like? It's got to be number one. Drop, drop zone, zone one, one, please. Yes, then correct side. Come on. Currently in second. Two hundred pounds behind Laura. Come on, over the edge. Five Please. over the tipping point. You put into first. Please. That's three. That's one hundred and fifty pounds. So you've got one last counter. Where would you like to play this one? I'm going to pop it into number two. Drop zone two. Please. Okay. Let's see what we can get out. Chris is your last one. Left hand side. Oh, other side. I wanted. Just there. sitting on its edge. Yeah. We need that to settle nicely. Yes. Okay. Nope. What do we think? Is it going to get enough get purchase? <laughs> Not this time, I'm afraid. It's being pinned, isn't it? So we take that £150, put it into your bank, Chris. You now have £500, Ooh. which means at the end of round one, Laura has £550. Chris has £500. Caspian has £250. But Joe, with nothing, I'm afraid, your tipping point has come. Thank you for playing. Oh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. So plenty of juicy overhangs just waiting to be harvested in round two. Find out who will be taking advantage when we come back. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Laura, Caspian and Chris are all one step closer to our £10,000 jackpot. In round two, they will each face 30 seconds of questions. Each correct answer gives them the chance to earn some cash. Once again, the player with the least amount of money at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Laura, you are in the lead after round one, which means you have a choice. Would you like to play our machine or would you like one of the boys to go first instead? Number one has been lucky for me so far, so I'm going to go first. OK, and you're going to try and take advantage of that, depending on how many questions you get right. Yeah. OK, well, you know the score. You've got 30 seconds to give me as many correct answers as possible. Each one you do will give you a counter to put into the machine. Anything over the tipping point is worth £50 for every counter that you get into the win zone. Your 30 seconds starts now. Founded by Julian Assange, what is the name of the website that caused a stir in 2010? Pass. WikiLeaks. Der Spiegel is a news magazine published in which country? Pass. Germany. In 2012, which football club became the first from London to win the Champions League? Chelsea. Correct. What does the B stand for in the name of the court order known as an ASBO? Pass. Behaviour. What is the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame in Victor Hugo's novel? Pass. Quasimodo. Professor Moriarty is the arch enemy of which detective? Pass. Sherlock Holmes. Which country did the dictator Pol Pot rule over in the 1970s? <laughs> Cambodia. You got one right. You passed on a fair few. I did. Your mind just goes blank. It does. And I wanted to keep passing to see if there was any well, easier. Well, not to worry. We need to get as many out as we can with the one counter that you have to put in, Laura, OK? So do you want to stick with drop zone one? Yep. You need to time it perfectly to give yourself the best chance of getting some money when you're ready. Come on. <laughs> it's a huge game. It's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. One. Come on, there's two. Come on, go on, go over, go over, go over, go over. Go over. Oh. Yes. Well done. Four. <laughs> Four <laughs> counters over the tipping point. She likes Another you. 200 pounds. <laughs> she loves me. She does. She's smiling at you. That goes from the machine into your bank. She hates Laura, me. Laura, you have 750 pounds. <laughs> Very well played. Thank you. Okay, so, Chris, you were just behind Laura coming into this round. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice now. You can play, or you could ask Caspian to play instead. I think I'll play. Okay, yeah. you're ready to play. So, like Laura, you have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. Good luck. 
The time starts now. Am I bothered is a catchphrase of Lauren Cooper, a character played by which comedian? Catherine Tate. Correct. Michael Bloomberg was elected mayor of which US city in 2001? New York. Correct. The wood of which tree is traditionally used to make cricket bats? Willow. Correct. Which patron saint of England is celebrated on April the 23rd? St. George. Correct. In 2011, Davina McCall replaced Kate Garraway as the host of which reality TV show about weight loss? Uh, the pass. The Biggest Loser. Which group had a UK top 40 hits with California Dreaming and Monday Monday? Mammoth and Pappas. Correct. What does the C stand for? Unfortunately, we're out of time. Having said that, you managed to get five right, Chris. <laughs> so very well done indeed. Where do you want to play? Uh, number three looks tempting at the moment. OK. Go for number three. Start there. Drop zone three, yeah. please. Release your counter when you're ready. I wanted it the other side. Bye. Settle down, settle down. It is flat. Yeah. Nice. This might set you up nicely for the next one. Hopefully. Eee. Nothing just now. So we'll go with number three again. Okay. You need to make this counter get some money into your bank. There we go. Ghost drops. They're very unnerving, aren't they? It's hiding, unfortunately. I'm not sure you're going to get much with this either. That's two, Chris. Two into the machine and nothing out just yet. Where do you want to go next? Number three again, please. The third of your five counters. Third time lucky, number three. When you're ready. Much quicker, That's cleaner drop. Better. Go on. There you yes. go. And that one, yes. yep. Oh, he's in. Come on, 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 oh, come on. Oh. Four across the tipping point. <laughs> he's up with you. 200 pounds so far, you've got two counters okay. left to go. Where do you want to go next? I'll stick with number three. Drop zone three again. Easy. Oh. It's flat, it's good. Hopefully. Now you need that to shove, not move right. Yeah. Yep. Two more counts. Yes. To guarantee you are definitely going through. Well done. You've now taken the lead. You have one counter left to put into the machine, Chris. Where are you going to go? I'll go with number three again. OK, why change? Oh. It was looking good for a second, oh, I'm afraid. Yes. Yep. Go Will on. it nudge it? Yes! Yeah. And four more at the end as well. Very well played indeed. Another £200, which means at the end of your go, Chris, that's £500. You are in the lead with £1,000. You're definitely through to the next round. So, Caspian, we come to you. Yeah, but I'm not sure she likes me in this machine. You don't she, want to say um, that now. She's got feelings. She, yeah, but She's I, listening. How can you flirt with this? It's, it's... <laughs> You're right. What you need to do is you need to answer as many questions as you can correctly. Your 30 seconds starts now. In which English city is the shopping centre known as the Bull Ring? Pass. Birmingham. Which former X Factor contestant had a UK number one hit in 2011 with Swagger Jagger? Uh, Cher Lloyd. Correct. The 1970 slogan, Nice One Cyril, was used to advertise which food? Pass. Bread. The TV programme, Holby City, is a spin-off from which BBC hospital drama? Casualty. Correct. Which fashion company produces the fragrances Escape and Euphoria? Uh, pass. Calvin Klein. What bird's name did Alan Lane choose for a publishing company he founded in 1935? Sparrow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Penguin. Was What's wrong with Sparrow? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just think how successful it would have been if it had been Sparrow. <laughs> it was Penguin, of course. Penguin. Caspian. You got two right, which means you've got two counters. Where are you going to get the most out? Look really carefully along that tipping point. That's what's so key. Uh, four. Definitely four. Yep. Yeah. Uh... Is it? No, it's... Oh, no, it's... No, it's dropped on top of it. That's oh, OK. okay. Yeah, OK. It's good. You'll get something over the edge here. It's usually pretty good when it's up I against the wall. There aren't ten in there. No! Oh, oh, this time! On. Come on, push. That's not going to go now, Caspian. Hmm. So, your last one. Drat. Uh, you going to stick with drop zone four? Yep, stick with drop zone four. When you're ready, release your last counter. Damn. 
Oh no! It's <laughs> it's coming into oh. three. And if it goes, they both went. No, they're both too deep. They're both on top. That's no good. I don't think. Caspian, I'm afraid that they've both fallen uh, when the shelf is too deep. She doesn't love me. She never liked me. You're absolutely right. She, <laughs> she hated me. You've read this machine on brilliantly. Sight, she hated she me. really didn't like you. So at the end <laughs> of that round, Chris finishes with a thousand pounds. Laura finishes with seven hundred fifty pounds. The machine really doesn't like Caspian. Didn't give him anything. You finish with two hundred fifty pounds, which means not only have we found a machine that doesn't like you, but we found your tipping point as well. Caspian, thanks like for playing. Me. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. So join us after the break. Laura and Chris will slug it out for the chance to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Laura and Chris are about to battle it out to earn the chance to play for our £10,000 jackpot. There's only £250 in it. Chris is in the lead with £1,000. Laura has £750. In this round, you will face six questions, which will alternate between you three each. For every question, there is a precious counter up for grabs. If you don't know the answer, you can throw it across to your opponent. If they don't know the answer, you get to put the counter into the machine. If they do, they will steal it from you. It's a massive tactical decision. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be playing for our £10,000 jackpot. OK, Chris, you are in the lead, so you get a choice. Would you like to face the first question, or would you like to give it to Laura? I'll face the first question. OK. In 2004, Piers Morgan was sacked as editor of which newspaper? If you don't have to play it, you can pass it to Laura, but will I'm she know? I'm pretty certain I know. I think it's the Daily Mirror. OK, we're going to play the Daily Mirror. Is the Mirror the right answer? Yes, it is. Well done, Chris. So, first counter for you. Where would you like to put it? Number four, please. OK, drop zone four. Are you ready? Release. First counter. It's come flying out. You're 250 ahead at the moment. Oh, goodness me. Okay, Laura, your first question. Who sang the theme song to the James Bond film Goldfinger? You can pass it, but might Chris know? I'm going to play Shirley Bassey. Is the answer Shirley Bassey? It is. It is, Laura. Now then, where are you going to go? Let's go with drop zone four, please. Drop zone four, please. Yes. It's lit, Laura. Just the slightest nudge. And something will go on that tipping point when you're ready. Come on. Come on. Come on, I love you, machine. Does that look good to you, Chris? Oh, looks come good on. for me. I hope so. Please be good for me, machine. six counts to take the lead. You just need something across that edge. Is it going to yeah! go? Oh! She's so cruel. OK, Chris, your second question. Okay. Chris, what does the A stand for in the name of the international organisation NATO? Are you going to play or pass? I'm going to play with Atlantic. Is the answer Atlantic? It is North Atlantic Treaty Organisation. Right then, you've been jamming them into drop zone four. One more? <laughs> Just for a change, yes. We'll go for number four. Drop zone four, please. When you're ready. This is to extend your lead. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. That could split them. No, it's sitting, flat. it's sitting, but it could split them. You just need to get that silver one over the oh. edge. Over the edge. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, Laura, you have another chance. Let's see what happens. Your second question. Abraham Lincoln appears on which denomination of US banknote? You can pass it, but will Chris know? Have a look at him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Never had that reaction before. Um, I'm going to pass and hope he doesn't know. Chris, do you know the answer to this? Not off the top of my head. So, it's but an educated guess. It's going to be an educated guess. So I'm going to choose 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, or, there's too many to choose from. <laughs> I'll go with 20. If it is 20, you've stolen this counter. Is Abraham Lincoln on a $20 note? No. Ah, five. Oh! 
dear. I'm sorry. Oh, no! Ooh, it That's fell the <laughs> in between the gameplay, so I'm afraid all of those counters are now void. There's still plenty there for the taking on the far side of that tipping point. Now then, that was a great pass, Laura. We lost a few there while you were debating that. They've been voided. You do have a chance elsewhere in the machine. There's still some hanging over the tipping point on drop zone four. What do you fancy going for? I fancy going for number two, please. OK. Come on. It's on its edge. It's in a right, great position, potentially. Come on. I reckon they'll go over. It's a bit of a space. Anything over the edge. Please, what have you got please, for us? Go on. Please, please. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. It thought about it, didn't it? Four! Over the tipping point, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> There's another £200. So, Laura, you have £950. Chris, you have £1,000. Just one counter between you. This is your last question, Chris. In which month of 2011 did Prince William and Kate Middleton get married? Pretty certain it was April. If you're right, you've got another counter to put into the machine to try and extend that lead. Did Prince William and Kate Middleton get married in April? They did. The 29th of April. Well done, Chris. So, where are you going to put your last counter? I will go for number four. When you're ready, release your counter. There. Yeah, I prefer that way a bit more. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to get anything. You just need to nudge that silver counter that's got the overhang. Hopefully. But on, is that going to work? Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Yep. There you go. This could be nice. Go on. Three across the tipping point. £150, which means your bank now has £1,150. Laura, five counters. For your last question, if you get it right, we'll see you through to play for £10,000. Here was your last question. At the Athens Olympics in 2004, which female athlete won gold medals at 800 metres and 1,500 metres? You can pass it and make Chris play. But would he know? Do you know what? As I'm not 100% sure, I'm going to pass to Chris. OK, we're going to pass know. it to Chris. Chris, do you know in, the answer to this? In 2004, I was in Athens, in the Olympic Stadium... Oh, wow. <laughs> ..watching Dame Kelly Holmes. If it is, then you've stolen the last counter and you're going through to play for £10,000. Is the answer Kelly Holmes? Was Laura, I'm so sorry. Chris, you were there. That must have been an incredible experience. Brilliant. Now then, you get to put the last counter into the machine. Let's see if we can get some more money into your bank. You've got £1,150 at the moment. I'm going to stick with my end one, number four. When you're ready, release your final counter. Like that? No. OK. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. No. Nothing. Nothing more out of the machine as it stands. But at the end of that round, Chris, you have £1,150. Laura, £950. It was very close, but I'm afraid we found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I just have to say, I think the best man won. So We're going to find luck. out. Thank you very much, Laura. Very generous for her. Chris, well done. Thank you. You've seen off all the opposition in a couple of minutes. We're going to be asking you to put this jackpot counter into our machine. As you can see, Chris, it's a little bit bigger, but it is a whole lot better, because if you can get it out, you'll be going home with £10,000. And for your chance to win the jackpot prize of £10,000, all you have to do is answer the following question correctly. If someone takes on a task that is too difficult for them, they're said to have bitten off more than they can what? A, chew, B, digest, or C, eat? If you think you know the answer, just give us a call on 0901 29 30 700. Calls cost no more than £1 and 3 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 63360. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message or this free entry at the website. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close at 10am on Saturday will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck!
Welcome back to the final part of today's tipping point. Our driving instructor Chris is revving up to take on the machine for a possible ten thousand pounds. What would you like to do with the money if we were to win it? We'd like to go to uh, Machu Picchu, Peru, <sighs> up the Inca Trail. That would be awesome. Okay. Well, look, this is what we want you to do. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the gold jackpot counter into our machine. It's very simple, Chris. If you can get it out, yeah. you'll be leaving with ten thousand pounds. Okay. Here's how you do it. I'm going to ask you six questions, each on a given subject. For each subject, you can choose to have one, two, or three goes at the machine. The more goes you play for, the harder the question is going to be. But the more you get right, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out and over the tipping point. If you don't succeed, you'll still get £50 for everything you get across into the winning zone. But we want you to get up the Inca Trail and we want you to leave with £10,000, OK? First things first, let's release your jackpot counter. Where do you think? you'd like it to land? Well, I've been loading up the right-hand side. I don't like looking at the left-hand side at all. So we'll go for number four. When you're ready, release the jackpot counter. That's not bad. That's not bad. That is not bad. It falls so fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Anything over the tipping point is £50 into the bank. Hey, it's it's a start. nice start. So we've already got five counters across the tipping point. That's another £250. You now have £1,400 in the bank. So let's have a look at today's six endgame topics. They are Oscars, politics, pop culture, geography, children's books and science. Hmm. Some good, some not so good. OK, we need you to choose a category to start with. So where are we going to start? We'll go with... Uh... Geography for three. OK, we'll have a geography question for three counters, please. Okay. Which of these countries uses the most time zones? Australia, China or Russia? Russia, huge. So I'm going to go with uh, Russia. Is Russia the correct answer? It is. Well done. Great, great start. So, three counters to yes. start. Moving the jackpot. Where are you going to go? Four all the way, it's going to be. OK. So, here we go, the first of three. Easy. Just drifted away, didn't it? Yeah, just, just drifted little away. Little Pushed it towards the edge. Come on, now. Let's get something over the lip. Yeah. Oh. Two into the winning zone across the tipping point, another £100. Your bank now has £1,500 in. Okay. Drop zone four? Drop zone four again. Got two left. Yeah! Come back! It's not liking me at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I don't like, like that. I like that. I like that. Four into the wind zone. It's another £200. £1,700. Drop zone four? Drop zone four. OK. Nudge, a little mm. nudge. Another two across the tipping point. So that's another hundred pounds. We haven't managed to shift the jackpot significantly, but we've got another category. Yes. Where would you like to go now? Uh, as I did uh, geology at university, I'm going to go with science. Okay. Let's see if it is science that can come up. Trump science for three. Science for three counters, please. Which gas causes the cork to pop out of a champagne bottle? Carbon dioxide, helium, or methane? I'm going for the top one with carbon dioxide. OK. Is that the right answer? Yes. You've got three counters. Drop zone four? Drop zone number four. Please. OK. That's Stop. That'll do. Good. That's we like that. Good. Go on, shift you go. Over, over, yes. over. That's all right. And having one right behind it is always good as well. Another two across the tipping point, another hundred pounds. Please with that. Nineteen hundred pounds in the bank. So, <laughs> another one. Yeah. Drop Same four. one, number four. When you ready? Release away. Same again, please. Yeah. Oh, magic. magic. They're starting to fall for you now. Go on, go on, Over you go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. It's a nice flip. What do we got? Another four across the tipping point. <laughs> Another two hundred pounds, two thousand one hundred pounds. You have another counter to go. 
again. Number four, please. It's lit and it's ready. It's not too bad. We'll get not those edge bad. ones over. There's a few piled up there. Is it nice and flat? We can get some lateral movement with this once it goes Come on. over. Come on. The uh, way. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, shift it, shift it. <laughs> <laughs> Another it two across the tipping point. Another hundred pounds. And with only your second category, the ten thousand pound jackpot counter <laughs> is practically touching the tipping point. Okay, where do you want to go next? I'll go with pop culture. Pop culture for how many? Oh, I'll go for three. Okay. Which American celebrity caused a stir in May 2012 when he carried the Olympic torch through Taunton? P Diddy, Will I Am, or Will Smith? <laughs> You're jigging about like. I'm smiling because I'm pretty certain it was Will I Am. Okay, is Will I Am the right answer? It is. Well done. Well done. You have three counters to try and shift that jackpot. Got to be number four. Right then. Come. On. See what we can do. I like that. That's not. I like that. <laughs> That's I really like not that. bad. Over the top. Yeah. This time. <laughs> is this yeah. the one? Is no. this no. the one? No. No. Oh. Another fifty pounds across the tipping okay. point. Two thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. You have. Drop zone four. Drop zone four. Straight in. A little more. That's better. I like that one. It's a little more this way. This could be it. Oh, <laughs> nothing. Where do you want to go next? Number four, please. Release your counter when you're ready. Might sneak past it again. What have we got? A little bit of lateral movement would be handy. No! Yeah. Another 50 pounds. 2,300 pounds in the bank. So, we go back to the subjects. All right, let's go for children's books. We go for two, please. Children's books for two yeah. counters, please. What type of animal is the Beatrix Potter character, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle? A hedgehog, a rabbit, or a squirrel? Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, I'm going for a hedgehog. You think it's a hedgehog? Yes. Is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle a hedgehog? She is. So, another two. Yep. All in number four, please. Drop zone four. Drop zone. And you're ready. Yeah. Oh! Stuck at the edge again. Another one sliding down that side. Yeah, someone might nudge it across. Let's see. How tight is it going to be to the edge? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's like a little side. <sighs> Another 50 pounds across the tipping point. So 2,300 and 50 pounds. <laughs> Number four again. Oh! That's looking good. This could be enough. In play. Is it going to send it over? Right. Oh! No, no, no! You've got one counter to play. The drop zone is still lit for you. We need to get it down there. When you're ready. Ah! Over. There's a little across the tipping point. Still. Four more across the tipping point. Another £200. 2550 pounds We're not doing enough damage to the jackpot, though. But we've got another category. I'm slightly better at films than politics, so I'll go for Oscars. And again, I'll... Oh, no, I've got to go for three. Got to go for three. Oscars for three. Yeah. We need to be brave now. Which 1980 Steven Spielberg film failed to win any Oscars despite receiving 11 nominations? Empire of the Sun, 
E.T. Or the colour purple. Colour purple doesn't strike me as a Steven Spielberg style film. I know E.T. was and it had loads of nominations, so it's going to have to be E.T. OK, we're going to go with E.T., please. Was the answer E.T.? No! Ah. It's the colour purple. It just didn't strike me at all as a Steven, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg film. film. So, we have one category left. How many counters do you think it'll need? It's got to be three counters. Sure. All or nothing. All or nothing. Politics for three. We're all or nothing now. When Margaret Thatcher first became Prime Minister, who was the US President? George H. W. Bush, Jimmy Carter, or Ronald Reagan? Being in 1979, I'm pretty certain it was Jimmy Carter before Ronald Reagan. So, Jimmy Carter, it is. Is the answer Jimmy Carter? Yes! Well done. So we've got three chances to try and get some serious movement on the jackpot. Where are you going to go? So, number four. When you're ready to release your first one, fire away. Uh, 11 in so far. That could I'm liking offer it. I'm liking a it. little oh, bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's almost like it's skirted round it. Another one has dropped. Can we get any movement on that? Oh! Another £50 across the tipping point. You now have £2,600. So we've got two counters left. Into number four. When you're ready, release the second counter. Sit down. Let's get it over the edge. Silver one across. A little bit. Uh, How about the tipping point? Five more across the tipping points. <laughs> Another £250, £2,850. We are so close now. This is your last counter. Still going to be number four. So for the last time, drop zone four is lit. Be good. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. We could take it. We could take it by pushing along the side. I need my drums. I need a drum roll. <laughs> come on, over the edge. Over the edge. Full, full. Come right. on. What have you got? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Be good. Come on. Be good. Ah, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just incredible. Congratulations. <laughs> what an amazing end to the game. Wow. You're leaving today with that £10,000 jackpot. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Enjoy your trip. Good it's been fun. great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. You've played a brilliant, brilliant game. It's been thoroughly entertaining. Brilliant. Join us next time when the fate of four more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. It's a tough stage that finishes at high altitude with the Brits still doing well. Catch the latest highlights from the Tour de France at 7 o'clock over on ITV4. Here though, Ruby's got good reason to be surprised and Zach is in for a shock after the news in Emmerdale.